and just begin to share the broadcast this morning so others can know that we are on. You are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Come on and share. Share. Uh, let everybody know that we're on. And we're, well, not simply, I was about to say, we're simply going to declare over our day. That's not really a simple thing. As I was sitting here uh, and I just began to think, I'm like, goodness, thank you. Um, today is the first day of March. Like we are almost through with the first quarter of 2019. And I think that that is like when you really think about it, it is amazing. I'm sure that you've already faced some challenges. I'm sure that you've already faced things that you said, oh my gosh, what in the world? But I'm sure that you have also experienced miracles, breakthroughs, provision. I'm sure that you've already seen God do some things that you had no idea how it was going to happen. Um, but like the song that we were singing last night, um, and I believe that I'll see you do it again because that is the place of expectation that we have to live in to just believe that if God did it before, he'll do it again. Uh, and remaining in a place of faith, remaining in a place of life, remaining in a place of joy, understanding and knowing that we don't have to become weary in well-doing because in due season, we will reap if, if, oh, that I-F, that's just two letter word, those two little letters, oh, sometimes they just feel like a mountain. Sometimes it's like, if we don't faint, if we don't faint. Why? Because there's something about our faith and our interaction with God and our connection to God um, that it makes that if very, very important. And so, uh, come on in. I welcome you to come to come in. If you're just getting in here, good morning. Uh, welcome to our Friday morning. Uh, and if you notice, I used a new hashtag this morning, uh, hashtag power of prayer, hashtag power of prayer. I know that we've done power prayer call for, um, for a long time. Uh, and I think that we may actually be very close to almost a 10 year anniversary. When, I, when you think about it, as far back as we have been getting together on a weekly basis, I mean, I really think, thank you. I really think that it is um, amazing to see what God has done. So go ahead, go ahead and share. Uh, as you're coming in, go ahead and share. And so um, from now on, if there's something about, um, you know, this time of prayer that blesses you, feel free to use hashtag power of prayer, power of prayer, hashtag power of prayer, be it, you know, some of you sometimes take uh, a screenshot and you may put it on your Instagram or on your um, uh, Twitter. Uh, make sure that you're following us on social media. My social media Twitter handle, jo Joanne R-O-S Conjury, that's J-O-A-N-N-R-O-S Conjury, my YouTube channel, Joanne Rosario Country. Make sure that you're following Rainfire Church on YouTube and on Periscope. Rainfire Church. Um, you can look for our Facebook pages. Uh, Pastor Corey Country on Twitter is Corey Country at Corey Country, and on Instagram we are the Conjuries. Okay, we are the Conjuries. Good morning. Good morning. So come on, let's get started. So Father, we thank you. We thank you for today. Come on, I just want you to begin to bless God today. I want you to begin to worship God right from where you are, Father. We honor you, we love you, and we bless you. We glorify you, Father God. We thank you, see, because we shouldn't go into declaring before first giving him the glory and the honor that is due his name. So we lift you up today, Father. You are welcome in our lives. You are welcome in our families. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome in our mind. You're welcome in our bodies. You are welcome in our atmosphere, in the, in the very air that we breathe this morning. Lord Jesus, you are welcome and we worship you today. We honor you today. We thank you, Father God, for a new beginning. We thank you and we bless you for new mercies this morning. We honor you. You're beautiful. You are faithful. You are amazing. You're a loving God and forever. God, even if we served you without sleeping for the rest of our lives, it still would not equal everything that you've done for us, every blessing that you've bestowed upon us, Father God. As the old saints used to say, if I had a thousand tongues, it would not be enough. Come on, just begin to declare his greatness. You are excellent. Yes, I love that. Padre, gracias por tu misericordia. Thank you for your mercy. Gracias por tu amor. Thank you for your love. Gracias por tu ternura. Thank you for just, Father God, your gentleness toward us. In the name of Jesus, te adoramos. We adore you and we love you. Thank you for life 
life. Gracias por vida. Thank you for health. Gracias por salud. Thank you for power. Gracias por poder. And we honor you today. We bless you today. You are great and greatly to be praised. And we just lift our hands right now, Father God. Some of my sisters and my brothers may be in their car. Some of them may be getting dressed for work. Some of them may be getting kids ready for school, Father God. But even right where we are, we take a, take a second to just pause and lift our hands. Honor you, love you, look at you, see you, embrace you with our hearts because you are great and you are awesome. Amen. Because you are the King of Kings. Tú eres el Rey de Reyes. You are the Lord of Lords. Eres el Señor de Señores. And we bless you. We admire you. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Father, we admire you. We look, at, we look upon your beauty and we admire you. Come on, I, you guys are reminding me of the book of Psalms this morning. We admire you. We, 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 we admire your beauty. We gaze upon your loveliness, oh God. You are lovely. You are more lovely than a million lilies in the field, Father. You are more lovely than the most gorgeous sunset. You are more lovely than a perfectly formed rose in the middle, Father God, of, of, of the summer. You are, Father God, more beautiful than springtime after the worst winter. You are more beautiful than springtime after the worst winter. We love you. We evoke your presence. We open our hearts before you. You are divine. You are perfect. But even, wow, look at this. But God, we thank you that even in your divine perfection, you love us without limit. Even in your divine perfection, Father God, you don't cast us away in our imperfection. And it makes me remember a song that says, your beauty is beyond description. Your beauty is beyond description. You're more precious than diamonds. Thank you, Miss Wendy. You're more precious than diamonds. You're more valuable than rubies. You are more, uh, more valuable and more... Uh, just you're a greater treasure than all the gold that exists in the world. And we love you. God, sometimes we're so quick to ask for what we need and for what we want without taking the time to just love you. Your unfailing love is unmatched. You're more costly than gold. That's the word I was looking for, costly. You're the beginning, you're the end, you're the alpha, you're the omega. And we just ask, Father God, that you would teach us, that you would teach us to worship you in the most unselfish way. We ask that you would teach us to worship you in the most unselfish way. We ask that you would teach us, Father, to worship you in spirit and in truth. Father God, that when you gaze upon our lives and upon the thoughts of our heart, that you would be able to say, no greater worship have I found on the earth in this generation because you see, God, that we love you wholeheartedly and we bless you, Father, and we thank you right now. We thank you, Father. You're so good. You are the example that we are to follow. Come on, so our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That's what we've been doing. We've been worshiping you. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, for thine is the power, for thine is the glory forever and ever. Amen. We've worshiped him. We've asked for his will to be done. We've loved him. We've asked him to keep us from temptation. We've uplifted him. We've prayed the way Jesus taught the disciples to pray. And so, Father, now we begin to declare and we begin to decree, Father God, not just over our day, but for the next 31 days, Father God, this month of March, this third month of the year of 2019, Father God, we declare, Father God, a greater spirit of wisdom. I declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare, Father God, wisdom, unparalleled wisdom. Father God, we declare in the name of Jesus, walking forth in greatness and in power. We declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper, Father God. We declare, Father God, that every tongue that rises up against us will be condemned. Father God, we declare in the name that is above every name that we will walk, Father God, in holiness, Father God, like never before in our lives. Father, I thank you that right now, Father God, in this, these 
next 31 days, you will purify our mind like our mind has never been purified, God. We thank you, Father God, that the motivation of our heart would be pure and holy, Father, in the name of Jesus. We declare, Father God, and then in these next 30 days, Father God, that we will walk in the spirit of faith, Father God, that we will see miracles, signs, and wonders. We declare, Father God, that we will see miracles, unparalleled miracles, signs, and wonders. Father God, I thank you, Father God, that even in these next 31 days, Father God, that the income of the ministries and the things that we do to bless other people, Father God, would be three times as much as the first quarter of last year, Father God. We declare, Father God, that in this third month, Father God, every, Father God, business, Father God, every ministry, every nonprofit organization, Father God, that everything that we do, Father God, to bless other people, Father God, we declare that the income of those ministries and businesses, Father God, would be three times what they were in the first quarter of last year. That means, God, three times greater than January, February, and March of 2018. Father God, I thank you, Father God, that Father God, I declare, Father God, March, Father God, to be a month that is full of Holy Spirit a strategy in the name of Jesus. Father God, and even right now, even though we declare that this month will be the month of strategy, Father God, we come against, Father God, every spirit of tragedy that would try to hit in this month, Father God. By the blood of Jesus, we bind every spirit of accident. By the blood of Jesus, we bind, Father God, every spirit of sickness. By the blood of Jesus, Jesus, we declare, Father God, that there will be no death, Father God, connected to anyone that we are connected to, Father God, to our children, our cousins, our mothers, our fathers, Father God, our in-laws, Father God, we declare, Father God, infinite and immediate abundance in this entire year, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. I declare, Father God, that there would be, Father God, an unrestricted and a ridiculous spirit of uh honor and love toward our elders and toward those, Father God, that you have placed in authority over us that walk in accordance with your will, Father God. I declare, Father God, a ridiculous spirit of hunger and thirst for righteousness that would come upon us, Father God, in this year, 2019. Father God, I declare in the name of Jesus, the abundance of your grace and of your favor upon us like never before, Father God. We walk by faith and not by sight, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that every corrupt relationship, Father God, that has been attached to us, Father God, is severed now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare, Father God, that every corrupt relationship, Father God, that has been attached to us like a leech, Father God, and has been sucking life and finances, sucking life and finances uh, out of your people, Father God, in an unrighteous way, Father God, I command it to be severed right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. Women that are in their single season, Father God, that are allowed Father God, men to be in their life, Father God, and those men are draining their finances, Father God, with their manipulation. We bind it right now in the name of Jesus. I speak over the lives of the single men that may be on this podcast, Father God, that are allowing unrighteous women, Father God, to bleed them financially, Father God, and to steal from them with manipulation and with control, Father God. We speak against that spirit right now. Father God, we declare, Father God, over every person that is listening, a spirit of righteousness and a spirit of boldness, Father God. I declare, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, uh, against every cowardly spirit. I speak against every cowardly spirit, every spirit of fear, every spirit, Father God, that avoids confrontation, every spirit, Father God, that makes us, Father God, hide, Father God, when things need to be confronted. I come against that spirit right now in the name of Jesus, and I declare, Father God, that we are bold as a lion. Come on, speak that over myself. I mean, speak that over yourself in the name of Jesus. You're bold as a lion. Say with me, I am bold as a lion. I am filled with the Holy Spirit and bold as a lion. I am filled with the Holy Spirit and bold as a lion. I am filled with the Holy Spirit, but bold as a lion. And we declare that over our lives in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We declare right now, Father God, such a spirit and such an anointing. Yes, we declare an anointing, Father God, an anointing for management. Father God, we declare, Father God, in the name of Jesus, for an anointing uh, for management, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we declare, Father God, that everything, God, that you place in our hands, Father God, we are managing it, Father God, to the greatest level, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We declare, Father God, that we will not be stolen from in this uh, in this month. We will not be tricked in this month. We will not be manipulated 
manipulated in this month. We will not be taken advantage of, Father God, in this month. We declare, God, that in this month we will not be wasteful, Father God. And we declare all of these things in the name of Jesus, Father God. So I thank you, God, that even, yes, management, a spirit of great uh, excellence in management, Father God, in everything that pertains to us, Father God. Amen. So we declare management of our time, Father God. We will. We declare uh, extreme wisdom in the management of our time. We declare extreme wisdom in the management of our resources. We declare extreme resources in the management of our relationships. We declare, Father God, management, management, and anointing for management. Father God, we declare, Father God, that even in management, Father God, we uh, speak a special anointing, Father God, on how to manage people. I even speak that over myself, Father God. Uh, Father God, a next level anointing in managing people. Father God, we declare a next level anointing in managing people. We declare a next level anointing of managing volunteers. We declare a next level of anointing on managing our co-workers. We declare, or, or those that are under us. Father God, we declare, Father God, a spirit of management. Father God, to manage our children, to manage our homes. Father God, we declare, Father God, management, a spirit of management, Father God, to learn to deal, Father God, with personality issues. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for that next level anointing and managing people, Father God. I thank you, God, even right now, Father God, that every demonic conversation that is being spoken about us, I declare that every demonic um, um, round table conversation that is being had about us, Father God, even if it's in hell itself, Father God, I declare, Father God, that every plan, Father God, being put in place by the enemy, I declare that, that because of the angels and because of the Spirit of God, that every one of those conversations and every Every one of those plots and plans, Father God, is being crumbled right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, that every hidden plot would be exposed, oh God. I thank you, Father God, that every lie, Father God, that is being spoken about us, Father God, would be, Father God, crumbled, Father, and destroyed right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. And now, right now, in the name of Jesus, I speak against every hindrance, Father God, everything that has come to hinder, Father God, um, the work of the Lord, every Everything that has come to hinder the work of the Lord, we bind it in the name of Jesus, Father God. So any time of any type of time hindrance, we bind it in the name of Jesus, Father God. Things and plans, Father God, that you have designated for a certain time, Father God, we bind the hand of the enemy, Father God, from in the name of Jesus, from from hindering those timelines, God, in Jesus' name. And so every so we declare that everything that is supposed to be delivered in this season and in this time. We cast it down, Father God. We declare that the anointing destroys the yoke. And we, de we declare the delivery of everything that has our name on it. We declare the delivery of everything that has our name on it. We declare the delivery of everything that has our name on it, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Father, even right now, Father God, we declare the, be the blessing of God upon those, Father God, that are blessed and oversee us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. So right now, Father God, I declare blessing, Father God, upon Pastor John Jenkins and upon Apostle Nahum Rosario, Father God. I declare the blessing of God upon them because they oversee Pastor Corey and myself, Father God, in this ministry that we have called by your inspiration, Rainfire Church. So we declare the blessing of God over FBCG and the blessing of God over Maranatha. And Father, we thank you, Father God, for two fathers in the spirit, Father God, that would cover us and that would bless us and would pray for us, Father God, and stand in the gap for us, Father God, naturally and spiritually, Father God, I pray and I speak blessing, Father God, over Father God, my uh, covering, my husband, the, the band that keeps my house together, Father God, the one Father God that helps me, Father God, to oversee Rainfire Church, Douglasville location, Father God, with strategy and with wisdom, Father God, with plans, Father God, with um, with uh, uh, um, gr just great uh, management and creativity, Father God, I bless his creativity, I bless Father God, his stamina. I bless Father God, his work. I bless Father God uh, that everything that, that we put our hands to would prosper in the name of Jesus. So I bless uh, every authority that has been placed above me, Father God, by your grace and by your mercy. And I declare, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that I will live honoring those that you have set uh, to cover me, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We declare, Father God, that every spirit of rebellion that tries to attach it, 
itself to us in this season. We will recognize it and we will tear it down. Father God, I declare, Father God, that we walk in a spirit of humility. Father God, I declare that we walk in a spirit of submission to authority. Father God, we declare, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, an increased anointing of discernment, Father God. We declare the spirit of discernment, Father God, so that we would know what is of your will and what is not of your will. And I declare, Father God, that we will run and we will thrive in the things that are your will. And I declare, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that the things that are not your will, because the spirit of discernment is so heightened within us, Father God, that we would, Father God, literally flee from those things that we know and we understand through discernment that it is not your will, Father God. We cast down infirmity. We cast down disease. We cast down sickness. We cast down fibroid tumors. We cast down migraine headaches. We cast down cancer. We cast down high blood pressure. We cast down, Father God, a, a spinal cord. Father God, um, uh, misalignment. We, Father God, speak to muscles and command them to be aligned. We speak, Father God, to quick recovery, Father God, of injuries, Father God, via muscle injuries or, or nerve injuries or, Father God, uh, knees, Father God, we speak to our bones and our knees, Father God, in the name of Jesus, to every joint, Father God, that it would be, Father God, completely restored, Father God, Father God, through creative miracles, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, we thank you, Father, for the overflow of finances. We we speak to the north, we speak to the south, we speak to the east, and we speak to the west, and we, Father God, speak to the wind of the Spirit, and we say, Holy Spirit, blow upon the finances, blow upon the treasures, blow upon the favor, and blow them in our direction. Blow them in our direction. Blow overflow into our direction. Blow abundance into our direction, Father God. And we thank you, God, that we have everything that we need to do every good work, Father God. We bind the spirit of the devourer and we release the spirit of abundance and we speak, Father God, a 100-fold harvest in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. I love you guys. And I pray that you were blessed today as we took the time to declare over our day, over our month, over our year. And we seal these declarations through the blood of Jesus. We seal these declarations through the power of the Holy Spirit. We seal these declarations in the name that is above every name. We seal these declarations through the precious blood of Jesus. And Father God, we know that the devil cannot contend with the blood. The devil cannot contend with the name that is above every name. We know that the devil cannot contend with the spirit of the living God. And we thank you because the name, the blood, and the spirit of God are in activation in our lives. And I thank you, God, that we continue to walk in holiness and obedience to your voice so that we do not allow any type of door to be opened to the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord, our Christ, and our Savior, we pray. Amen. 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 You know what, guys? Today is going to be the greatest day of your life. Today is going to be the greatest day of your life. So I encourage you, I encourage you to um, grab this link share it with someone today, share it with at least five of your friends, literally just go on the Periscope. I know that you guys shared it on your social media, but I want you to specifically take this link and send it to five of your closest friends, guy friends, girlfriends, and, and tell them you need to listen to this. You need to declare over your day. Why? Because the word of God says that power of life and death is in the tongue. It is in what we say. It is in what we speak. And we will honor this thing called our tongue. We will honor it and we will love it. We will respect it and we will, we will live in the fruit of it. Amen. Amen. I love you guys. I bless you. And for those of you, you already know that God lays it on your heart to sow into uh, the ministry of Rainfire Church. We're actually getting ready to um, just share some really, really amazing vision that God has given us uh, for this next year. Um, and you are going to want to be a part of that. Amen. And so, um, oh, I want to just, I want to say stuff, but I can't say it yet. But go ahead and uh, grab a special offering. Uh, 
gather your tithe, if you sow your tithe into this ministry, uh, if you don't sow your tithe into this ministry, or you've already sowed your tithe uh, this week into the ministry, allow God to place on your heart uh, an offering for the Lord uh, through Rainfire Church to continue allowing for there to be meat in the house of Rainfire, um, provision in the house of Rainfire. Mama T, we love you. Good morning. And so um, allow your faith seeds. Oh my God, there we go because it's the first day of the last month of this quarter. So let's continue to put faith seeds into the ground because that is what continues to follow us into the year with harvest, okay? Harvest cannot come unless seed has been sown. Yes, we will still be having uh, the women's conference this year. We are currently planning on having it in May. We're currently planning on having it in the month of May. So uh, just begin to um, gather your uh, your plans, uh, begin to just kind of just uh, seek God, um, be wise with the money that is coming into your hands. Uh, and as soon as we have finalized the date, we will get that date to you. You guys have been emailing us. You have been, um, you know, asking, you have been sending messages on um on uh, uh, through different social media outlets, but we wanted to make sure that we have everything um, properly in line uh, before releasing that date. You guys know that we've moved from one building completely into another building, so there's been a lot of transition, uh, but it's all been good. You guys will see when you come, it's all been good, okay? I love you, we love you, Pastor Corey loves you. Uh, you are a very special part of this ministry. Uh, we consider you a part of our, um, you know, our family. We consider you a part of our family and we love you. We love you. We bless you. You're uh, an online uh, partner. You're an online uh, member of this ministry that we call Rainfire Church. And we are just honored, honored to sow into your lives. Uh, every opportunity that we get. Okay. We love you. Be blessed. Our website, rainfirechurch.org. If you need to send us an email, a prayer request, or so uh, your tithe or a seed of faith um, offering today. Amen. I love you. You're welcome. Have a great day.